Well, the Golden Knights 41st home game of the season ends with a 4-1 to one loss to the Anaheim Ducks. And with the LA Kings overtime win over the Chicago Blackhawks, Vegas is headed to Dallas to face off with the one seed stars in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. On Wednesday, I went one on one with VGK head coach Bruce Cassidy and Ford Ivan Barbashev to hear about the defending champs mission to repeat as a wild card, beginning with a Western Conference final rematch. Bruce Cassidy joins us. Coach, thanks for the time. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, Coach, now you always get questions about the team, but let's ask about you for once, right? So you spent six seasons in Boston. You're in your second season here in Vegas. Already got a Stanley Cup title under your belt. Just reflect for a second. Second season here. Well, yeah, we moved last year, and it was a completely different move for us. We're, I'm a Canadian, and um, our kids are in New England. Wife is from Jersey, so very East Coast. So to come out to the desert uh, was interesting. We've loved every minute of it. Uh, obviously, winning the Stanley Cup has a lot to do with that. But, you know, the family's really integrated into the community here in, uh, in Summerlin and, and, and Vegas in general. So uh, happy to be here. And... Um, Kind of a different uh, adventure in our life right now and really enjoying it. So coach, there's a lot of comparisons and contrast that you can look at between this year's team and last year's team. It's been an up and down season. Last year was never perfect, right? But you got hot at the right time. So how does this year's team and this season compare to last? Yeah, I, I, I said it a lot. We were an imperfect team last year that found a way to hit their game and, and their, you know, hit our stride at the right time. Uh, we're hoping it's the same this year. Th this year has been just a, lo a lot more uneven in terms of, we had injuries last year, but boy, this year it seems like there's even more. Um, but some similarities, we added people at the deadline last year that really helped us, and we're hoping the same will be true. And we've seen it so far with Hurdle, Mantha, and, and Hannafin have done a real good job for us. So um, we're trying to integrate some of the players that have been injured here into the lineup late in the year, uh, get them getting some chemistry going. Um, but other than that, we've had a lot of the same faces, so not a lot of differences. We're, we've tried to play the same style. Uh, both our goaltenders are back from last year. Um, so everyone's kind of familiar with how we want to play. We just got to get everyone on the ice at the same time. That's been a challenge mm -hmm. and will we'll be, uh, you know, right into the playoffs. Tomas Hurdle snaps home his first for the Golden Knights. Mantha Hannafin in Hurdle. So it's a different makeup of this team from where the team started this season when you were so hot to begin the year. So what is it like entering the postseason knowing it is a different team than what it was at the beginning? Well, it, it is different, but there's still a lot of familiar faces. The core group of our team is here. The guys we are still going to rely on Jack Eichel and Marcia Sow's line to score and Stevie. And, mm -hmm. and, and if we're fortunate enough to get Mark Stone back, those guys drove a lot of the offense. We know that Nick Waugh and William Carlson check as well as any centerman in this league. So they're relied on as shutdown players. So we have a lot of that. It's just finding the right, the right, like Barbie last year, you know, where does Mantha best fit? And Barbie went right in with Eichel and worked out well. Mantha, you've seen with Carly do well. Hannafin's come in and really added some, uh, something to our D, a little more, you know, mobility. And, and then you hurt all of a sudden who was hurt when we got him. So we weren't sure with him, but in the league a long time. So he fits right in, in the middle of the ice can play the wing. So, uh, again, for us, um, guys that have been in the league, these aren't new players to the league, so that becomes a little more difficult. They, they know what it takes to win. Uh, they've just got to figure out how to best read off their teammates, and, and that's our job to help them figure that out. So the Stanley Cup encore season has had no shortage of adversity between all the injuries down, down the lineup. So how has perseverance prepared the team for another cup run? Well, we went through it last year. We lost... Uh, Mark Stone for a stretch. Uh, I think Jack was out for a while. Goaltenders we went through probably, what, four of them. So mm -hmm. I think it's baked into this team. Uh, some of it's from the, like the original Misfits went through a lot of adversity just to find them, their footing in the National Hockey League. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a lot of guys in that room that had to fight for, for their careers here so that they understand what it's like to, to be able to, to have to, hey, whatever happens, happens. I still got to take care of business myself, be a good pro. and get out there and help the team win. So I think that's been built into this team for a while. Uh, collectively as this particular group, as I said, we've gone through it this year, last year with a great result last year. So guys do know how the, how the ending can play out. They should also realize every year is a different year. So if you want the ending to be the same, you gotta, you gotta make sure you're making the, the same sacrifices and, 
and play in the right way, and that's the challenge for every team this time. Of year. Well, like many teams in the NHL, the Knights have been a broken record lately, saying we need to find consistency in our game. Now, lately you went six of seven games winning, then went on a road trip, 0-3, now on another three-game win streak at the most important time of the year. So what feels different right now about this hot streak? Well, I, I think our guys understand that we have to play better this time of year. There's a little bit of that um, guys that have we've been there and done it. So some of that's mental, uh, taking your foot off the gas there. When we went to Arizona, Vancouver and Edmonton. We didn't expect to win every game, but we expected to play better. We didn't. So mm -hmm. you got to overcome that. Don't let that streak turn into an even longer streak. And I think we did that at home. We're always comfortable here. So there's a little bit of that mentality. We knew that, okay, that's enough. Let's get back to our game. Uh, and we have. <laughs> You said yesterday morning that you want the team to be fine-tuning its game. What specifically are you looking for for the team to be hitting full stride? Well, we've done it for three or four games here. We've been better defensively. The shots on goal show that. The goals against. We're not giving teams as many easy chances as we were there when we're letting points slip away. I think that's important in the playoffs. Games are tighter. So, uh, you, you know, you, you have to play a tighter game in, in order to, to have success until you you know, able to truly get to your game. And I, when I say that, I mean, not every night you're going to go out there and be great for 60 minutes. So the stretches you're not, you got to get in and out of them. And I thought we've done a better job with that recently. Uh, no matter who we've played, we've just, hey, if we've had a bad stretch of five minutes, we, hey, you know, let's, let's get back to where we need to be. And we've gotten through it instead of turning into, you know, half the game. Well, maybe more than any pro sport out there in hockey, everything has to go right to win the Stanley Cup and finish the season as champions. So the million dollar question, what is it going to take for this team and this lineup to do so? Well, health is a little bit to do with it. I mean, we're playing without five or six of our guys right now. So will they be ready? And whenever we start, whether it's a week or five, six, seven days, I'm not sure. Uh, that's a good question. We hope so. Um, get some of them back in the lineup, but we'll see. We'll see that that's one thing. Um, and then continued health as you go through it. We don't, we don't need to lose any more players. We've had our share, so hopefully that gives you some continuity chemistry. And you said it earlier, resiliency. You're not going to win every game in the playoffs. So, yeah. you know, if one doesn't go your way, you can't let it drag and affect your, your mentality. you got to get back out there the next day and uh, get back at it. So those are the things we're looking at. And then you need a little bit of luck along the way. Let's face yeah. it, you know, some timely goals, some timely saves. Um, and and you, people say you make your own luck, and I think we did that last year, so that'll be the task in, in front of us. Well, there's a lot of ebbs and flows in any hockey season, and especially at this time of the year, momentum is key. So as the head coach of this team, do you try to instill the confidence and instill the momentum in the team, or do you just let it happen naturally? No, listen, our job is to make the team confident that they can beat anybody. Mm -hmm. It's hard to go through the room and make every individual confident in his game. That's certainly our job to talk to them and put them in good places to succeed. But in general, it has to be the team because you're always going to have a couple of players that just aren't on exactly where they want to be. It's hard to get all 20 guys firing the nut cylinders all at the same time. But I think we have enough depth in our lineup that we can afford a player or two to sort of fight it a little bit till he finds his game, help the team win. So I believe that's our job is, is to instill that confidence. And how do you do that? Well, it's how we play. Um, it, it, it's holding people accountable. It's giving people, like I said, putting them in positions where they can be successful. So finding the right chemistry in the group. Um, and then it's up to them to sort of take it from there. That's where the momentum comes from. They start feeling good about their games. They're the ones that play, right? <laughs> so when they're feeling good about the games, they're on the ice playing well, then that's a great thing to watch. And as a coach, that's what we saw last year. As the playoffs went on, you start to see it right in front of your eyes. Hey, these guys are really hitting their stride and, and they're playing for one another and doing it, all the little things right and, um, and end up with a championship. Well, Coach, last one for you. Fan Appreciation Week is wrapping up tomorrow night. Of course, the jerseys off our backs is going on after the game. You've been here for almost two entire seasons now. Tell us about this VGK fan base. Uh, awesome, to be perfectly honest. Uh, they're behind us every day. They're loud. Uh, they're supportive. They're positive. Um, not obnoxious at all. <laughs> Sometimes you come from the East Coast and you got fans coming up to you, you know, what the hell's the matter with the power play, et cetera. They're, they're, they're very into their team and they want to see the team do well. And uh, I appreciate, because I'm, I'm out, you know, I have kids in school here, so I'm, I'm out a lot. It's nice to talk hockey. They both play minor hockey, so I'm at rinks all the time. And I appreciate the feedback from the fan base. Um, 
and the interaction. So uh, very fortunate to be a part of it. Um, and uh, we want to make them proud, proud of us. And we're uh, going into another playoff, and that's the objective. All right, Bruce Cassidy and the Golden Knights going for their second straight Stanley Cup title. Bruce, thanks so much for the time. All right, thank you. So the Golden Knights will begin their defense of their Stanley Cup title in Dallas, Texas, when they face the Stars in the first round. And next week, you'll see playoff hockey being played right here at the Fortress. From T-Mobile Arena, I'm Nick Walters.